to what we already have. Bring in much needed tourism dollars, tourism visitors, and jobs, really important jobs. The best summer job I ever had was working in a national park as a youth in Kootenai National Park. It was the best summer job experience I ever had in my life. <laughs> I'm a strong supporter of it. It can provide ecological benefits, better for wildlife, the plants and animals that are around here. Uh, social benefits, you can uh, bring lots of money into the area, which adds to economics and complement the winery, the uh, tourist industry, the hotels, the motels, the restaurants. So economically, ecologically, and socially, this is where the ranchers come in because they have a neat lifestyle. I'm a rancher myself, I love the lifestyle, and they can maintain that and graze in these areas as long as they do it compatibly. Well, when I talk about economics also, uh, I'm referring not to the, just to the winery business, I'm talking about to the region. I see, a, I see a push, there will be more people coming to the area, there will be, uh, this is part of the uh, spin-off benefits, economic benefits, people will come, they'll, they'll need a, international visitors will need a hotel room, they'll need meals, they need a rental car, and so on. So. You know, it, it's going to be very important to this area. The other option, if there's no park, don't forget, is that these, this land could be subdivided and sold off as smart parcels. So, Asuyas is called Canada's pocket desert. We also have lots of plants and animals here that you don't find anywhere else in Canada. We think it's very important to um, at least look at how we can um, integrate a national park into our landscape. Everything in that a politician does has to do with compromise. People ask, you know, what's wrong with the existing protection from BC Parks and the Nature Trust and other entities like that? And it really boils down to staffing. We have very, very minimal staff looking after our parks and protected areas in BC. If you compare staffing with a national park, they have way more staff. They have summer field staff, they have research staff, they have educational staff. That's the big difference, is boots on the ground. Having a, the National Park uh, designated a dark sky preserve uh, just, I find, a very exciting idea because uh, a dark sky is something tremendously undervalued. And if you ever have the experience of being out in a truly dark place on a clear night and see a sky full of stars, uh, it does something to you. It reminds you of who we are and where we came from. I'm Sharon Mansier, biology professor at Okanagan College. Grasslands and their unique species are globally endangered. You can help save ours by going to the website Let's Talk South Okanagan Milkmead and completing the consultation. This is your opportunity to have a say in shaping this new National Park Reserve. Mm -hmm.